Greetings to everyone, today, we will cover DDL and DCL statements. We can classify SQL statements mainly into three categories. Data Definition Language, DDL. Data Manipulation Language, DML. Data Control Language, DCL. DDL sets up the structure of the database, like building or changing the structure of tables. DML manages the actual data, like adding, editing, or deleting entries in the tables. DCL controls who can access or change the data, like giving or taking away permissions. You can view different types of SQL statements here as well. We can now delve into explaining DDL and DCL commands thoroughly. Data Definition Language, DDL. DDL commands are used to define the structure of the database or schema. It is used for creating, modifying, and deleting objects like databases, tables, etc. DDL commands are create, alter, drop, and truncate. DCL, data control language, commands are used to control access to data within a database. They manage permissions for users and define who can do what with the data, such as granting or revoking access privileges. Now we can proceed to create a database and execute queries using both DDL and DCL commands. First, we must select SQL IDE from CS Lab. First, we have to create a new database named cybersquare_db where we can store our data using the command create database cybersquare_db. When you execute a query, the first step is to select it and then click the run button. Okay, so database is created. Next, to list all the databases available, including the one we just created, we use the show database command. After that, we need to tell MySQL to use the cybersquare underscore db database for the subsequent commands. It's like opening a specific folder to work in. We achieve this with the use cybersquare underscore db command. Following that, to create a new table named person inside the cybersquare underscore db database with columns for person underscore id, first underscore name, address, and city, we execute the create command. We can run it. And now, table is created. To view the structure of the person table, listing the columns and their data types, we use the describe person command. The fields in the table are now visible. Then, to list all the tables in the current database, including the person table, we execute this show tables command. Now you can see the person table here. If we want to add a new column called email to the person a table to store email addresses, we use the alter table person add email command. To remove the city column from the person table, we execute a command that is alter table person drop column city. If we wish to modify that first underscore name column in the person table, changing its name to full underscore name and adjusting its data type to varchar 20, we use the alter table person change command. To delete the entire person table from the database, we can use the drop table command. Finally, if we want to remove all the data from the person table while keeping the table structure intact, we execute the truncate command. It removes data from the table and then removes the table and recreates it. Thank you.